Hi, this is Autodidact and today I am going to show you how to install VirtualBox, then install Ubuntu Server version 20 on top of it. And right after that, I am going to show you how to assign a static IP address on our server using the NetPlan utility. But before we start, just a quick note here. If you have questions in your mind or something to say, please don't hesitate to type it down on the comment section below because I will be reviewing all the comments and I hope to help you. If you like this video or my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified for new uploaded videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, now the first thing we need to do here is to download the virtual box. If you haven't downloaded this yet, simply go to virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. And right here we have platform packages. Depending on the operating system you're currently working with, uh, if you're working with Windows, you can click on this link, Windows Hosts, and now click on the Save File button here. But I'll cancel mine because I've already downloaded this uh, software. Now here on Ubuntu website, you can either download desktop or server here on ubuntu.com slash download. But I'll recommend you uh, download server by clicking on this link. And right here, you can download or click the uh, green button, download here. And let's wait for two seconds or maybe three or so. And here, we can finally save the software or download the software by clicking on the OK button there. But I'll cancel mine because I've already downloaded that software. Okay, now I'll open my or double click my VirtualBox installer because I'm going. We are going to install that. I'll close my explorer here and click next. Uh, you don't have to uh, change. Uh, change the settings here we, we, we will be using the default settings on the installer okay just click next and next and install that's it you are now waiting for the installer let's click finish button there and now let's open the uh, virtual machine so now let's add new virtual machine by clicking on this new button here. I'll name this dev env or development environment and I'll change the machine folder to uh, the folder that I've created previously, virtual env. So uh, I'll choose Linux here because we will be installing a Linux dis distribution which is the Ubuntu and click next and it's up to you if you are going to uh, increase the recommended memory size here I'll set this to 4 gigabytes or 400 4906 MB now we don't you don't need to change or select any of the options just choose the what choose what is default here next and then um, choose the dynamically dynamically allocated and then uh, it's up to you again if you want to increase the size of the disk here I'll click the create button there and now we have successfully created the new virtual machine on virtual box and now you can start this so we can install the Ubuntu server all right now um, this is where we are going to select or locate the uh, that ISO that we've just downloaded a few minutes ago <clears throat> select the installer of the Ubuntu that you've just downloaded and then choose button here click on that and now start and it will start um, installing the software
all right now here you can select your language I'll just enter here and now here you can you have the option to continue without updating or update to the new installer but I'll just select continue without updating here and now let's just hit enter for done here and also here you don't have to change anything here for now so let's just hit enter for done and here as well hit enter for done done here and now it's currently selected for the use an entire disk so leave it that way and let's just hit enter for done and now here uh, done and just continue hit enter and now you can uh, uh, provide your name here and then your server's name i'll put mine dev dash env dash server or serve and now here i so sel i'll select um autodidact as a username and a password here i'll assign or create a password here and by the way you have to remember your username and password here because this is your uh, login credentials when you are going to connect to the server and here select install open ssh server and done and these are optional i'll just leave it blank and done here and now it's currently installing so let's just wait for few seconds here or maybe minutes or a couple of minutes almost there now it's installing open ssh server we're getting there and now downloading the ins and installing security updates you can cancel this if you want and now we can reboot the system so let's reboot that and don't worry about the failed and unmounting uh, blah 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 there let's just turn it off and restart the server start here again and wait for another few seconds here let's wait for these startup messages or uh, logs here to be finished uh, not yet let's let's wait for a few seconds here uh, it's not finished yet don't enter your username um, login there yet and I think it's done so now we can enter the username here autodidact and the password all right so now we've successfully logged in so i'll go ahead and clear the screen and the next thing we need to do here is to check the ip address so to do that to say ip add show this is uh, one of the net plans um, command so as we can see here it is configured as dynamic so we'll go ahead and exit this and turn off the virtual machine okay so here on the VM right click on here and click settings and go to network and here attach to the reached adapter so we will be able to ping this server from our host which is the windows which is the windows os all right so let's wait for a few seconds here okay login autodidact and password here 
let's check the IP address again. Alright, now we have 192.168.100.5 IP address and it's still dynamic. But let's try if we can connect to that. I'll run CMD here and uh, let's try if we can ping that IP address from our Windows host. So our Windows is the host and the virtual host is the guest OS. Ping 1 and 2 .168 and good. We can connect to that IP address from our host, which is that's, that's a good sign already. And uh, let's try if we can ping my IP address here within from the uh, virtual host, Ubuntu server. Ping 1 and 2. 110 and good very good now we can connect from our host to the virtual host now let's try if we can uh, ping or ping the google.com that means we can connect to the internet okay let's wait for a sec here okay now it's connected to the internet as well so we don't have a problem with the internet connection already all right, now let's clear the screen again and then let's show the IP address again and here currently it's dynamic so let's change this to static so you'll say sudo vim etc net plan and slash zero zero then tab then hit enter and then you will have to enter your password here if it's asking for your password and here is the configuration file I'll put or add addresses addresses here and currently the, the IP address is um, 105 but I'll change this to 100.15 and uh, slash, slash 24 there and then I'll put a gateway here gateway 4 1 and 2 and then 100 that's that one Let's double check that. I'll open my network settings here and Ethernet and adapter. So there are two adapters here. This is where our bridged adapter is attached, and this is the V host only network created by the virtual host. You can delete that, by the way. And, uh, and here is the um default gateway so that's 105 uh, 100 101 so that's 1 and 2 that 1 and 101 for the default gateway so i'll copy the dns server here um that's uh 58.69.17.3 and i'll delete this because we we don't need to this to be uh, dynamic so Let's save and close and clear screen sudo net plan apply and then IP add show so it's currently static now so there's no dynamic there as you can see so 100.15 and then default and then we're good there so let's double check the app if it's still connected to the internet and let me check if we can ping the host which is my IP address here and yes that's very good that's good so we can still ping or communicate from our host to the guest and to the from the guest to the host so let's double check it here 115 and good all right so we've successfully uh, configured or assigned a static IP address on our server so now uh, I'm thinking of accessing it on the browser so let's try um, 12.168.115 here and obviously you can't see anything here so what I'm thinking is let's try to install um, Apache on our virtual host server so let's say sudo um, apt update first 
and wait for a few seconds here. And now let's say sudo um, apt install Apache 2 and then yes here and let's wait for a few seconds here again and then let's refresh this and look it's working just fine so we have um, installed Apache on our virtual host within our Windows uh, OS and it's working just fine. Now let's try the uh, firewall. So sudo app list for available applications there and let's try to enable the firewall. So the scenario here will be you can't access 115 on the browser since we've just uh, enabled the uh, firewall so let's try that status so it's active and if we're going to refresh this one of course you can't access dot 15 because it's ha it has a firewall now and let's try sudo ufw allow um, apache full so it will allow https and http and uh, let's refresh this and look it's working just fine now again and uh, let's try Let's try to access our server uh, using PuTTY. So since we've enabled the firewall and haven't added the um, open SSH to the allowed applications on the firewall, so we can't. It, it doesn't get any response from our server. But since We've allowed this now. We can log in already to the server using the PuTTY. All right, now you can access our virtual machine here, Ubuntu server, um, using PuTTY application here. So now the next, the last thing you need to do here is to visit my YouTube channel. I have prepared or uploaded uh, two videos there regarding um, Apache and Nginx you can check this out if you want to you know, learn how to configure uh, Apache, MariaDB and PHP and also Nginx, MariaDB and PHP so I think we're good here thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today